more than 10 years back, we visited a city called Velour in Tamil Nadu, where we went to check out the decentralized waste management out there. And there I saw huge tanks that were converting kitchen waste into wormy composting with the help of earthworms. And for the first time in my life, I held these worms in my hand and I was totally fascinated and fell in love with them. I returned home back to Bangalore with a precious cargo, a box of earthworms. I left it out in my terrace the night and the next morning they were all gone. Looks like the early bird got the worms. This loss was only a beginning into the fascinating world of composting. I experimented with different kinds of composting, aerobic, anaerobic, wormy composting, and also with different systems. My city, Bangalore, generates around 5,000 tons of waste every day. And I generate around one kg of kitchen waste every day. We cook three meals a day and for the past 10 years, I have not thrown even a single peel out of my home. Composting is of experiential learning and an amazing everyday action to contribute positively to this planet. This rich organic waste usually ends up getting trapped in the landfills, generating methane, the deadly greenhouse gas, impacting the climate change. Instead of polluting, this resource can be converted into living soil to grow our food. Getting teams together to get more people excited about composting became a mission in our lives. We did fun things together after we caught the composting bugs, setting up garden litter composting models, running around searching for cow dung, waking up early in the morning to go and sweep the roads and bring back precious resources that tree shed in certain seasons and compost them all. I get thousands of visitors on my terrace to see urban composting processes. We share our practices by conducting workshops, demo talks, road shows, and standing in stalls and events, and of course, using social media. All the myths people have about composting is being addressed. If done the right way, it is earth-smelling material and does not need too much space or time. Talking Trash started attracting thousands of followers and with my Insta handle as Worm Rani, it created curiosity for my posts. My life got so much more meaningful than ever before as I shared this magical composting journey with others. Got them to experience this important process. Being a part of SW Marty was incredible. It was like a team of crazy practitioners doing everything to make the city deal with the waste the best way they can. Once I made potfuls of gold, black gold, the next step was to start growing a garden. And I have never ever grown a single plant in my life till then. Growing food was one of the best things that happened to me. It gave me an access to understanding safe food and nutrition without chemicals and pesticides and paved a path towards sustainable living. There are large-scale degradation of soil due to modern agricultural practices and it is so important to put organic matter back to regenerate the land. I soon became a part of a movement in Bangalore who grow food on their terraces and balconies. They were the vibrant urban farmers. There were thousands of terrace gardeners getting together and learning through sharing, exchanging seeds, saplings and harvest. There was a tremendous sense of joy as each of us learned to live more consciously and sustainably. We at SWMRT realized that it was important to roll out campaigns to get more people to participate in the decentralized models. In 2016, we launched Swachhagraha. It was about creating three green spots in our homes. Compost, grow and cook. We invited and continue to invite people 
to take the one week challenge to keep our kitchen waste away from the landfill people got to experience composting and growing food in small spaces the key to sustainable living is with each conscious action we take to contribute positively towards this beautiful planet few things that we can do one composting at home two refusing to buy food that's grown with chemicals three sourcing food that's grown in natural agricultural practices cutting down on processed food are the few actions we can take as our health is directly connected to the soil health taking responsibility of the waste we generate could be the best gift we can leave behind for the future my daily mantra i will compost all my green waste for the rest of my life and i invite each of you to experience this commitment to this beautiful planet